All right. What's going on guys? Welcome back to PFI Speed. Today I've got this little blue Miata on the dyno. I gotta tune that thing out. And then I'm gonna get in the back into show enough. I'm gonna flip that pump. I'm gonna start running through some of this stuff and uh, see if we can't get it sweet. Christmas. Yeah, that's it for sure. Four cylinders running. It was a race to get it to start. We got her to start. Now I need to go through things. I've got to fix this throttle body. I know what to do with that, with the fuel pump. I've got it set up for reverse rotation at the moment, so I need to flip that back around. And then I need to find out what's going on with my turbocharger and uh, the oil. Uh, in the last video, I said the seal's probably dry. Uh, let me tell you, I probably had a drink or two, and I, I wasn't uh, thinking. They really don't have seals like that that can dry out. It's just, uh, yeah, it needs some love. Something's, something's going on in there. And you know what to do to fix the damper, right? You have a plan for that. Yeah, I've got, got a plan right for that. I was going to go play with our lathe real quick and see if we couldn't get that. And then I was also going to look for my other hub, too. And, and then, then yeah. Got this one. We've this is a... why it was three cylinders. This one wasn't attached. See, the hole doesn't line up. Yeah, so, so we're going to change the space in here, either try to move it over, or I'll make this hole just a little egg. And then it That's should fit bad. then. It was originally designed for the smart coils. And then uh, I went and changed it to uh, the CDI coils. I also got in a little V-band that I can mount down in here and uh, get that lower uh, dump tube on. So we got a little bit of stuff to do and uh, start pushing. We got, still got to put the drive shaft in and some other little stuff too. And then it'll actually drive, which is huge. But right now I got this little Miata and uh, we're running through it, scanning it all. Jamie just put a couple clamps on that we're missing. We got that solved, and uh, I think we're ready to go. Yep. Well, at least we're hoping. Yeah. He's looking for around 300 horsepower. Um, I'm sure it could be done, but we'll play with it and see how it yeah. is. It's stock pistons, but with a set of connecting rods. Um, 750 injectors. Yeah, fast. mega squirt. It does road racing stuff with it. See the roll bar? And... Uh, should be ready to rip. So let's get it done. All right, so I got a base set up in here. I, I changed the injector millisecond time to one millisecond. Uh, it seemed to crispen it up a little bit. So uh, let's make some rips and uh, see what we're working with. So 198 horsepower, 202 foot pounds. The client wants around 300 horsepower. That's 12 and a half to 13 pounds of boost right there. So I don't see us actually probably getting there on pump gas. Like it'd probably take, you know, 20 some pounds. I don't know how comfortable I am yet. The motor, but I'll feel it out. We're gonna go ahead and smoke test it though. I'm gonna just make sure we're using all that boost and uh, make sure that's good. And uh, continue to duke it out and uh, try to stoke this guy out one way or another. All right, we got the smoke tester hooked up and going here. So far, not seeing anything though. Well, it looks like we're actually pretty good on the smoke test. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I just stopped. I was like, misfire, misfire, misfire. Yep. Why? It's like. All right, pull some plugs. All right, so we got the plugs coming out now, and uh, we're just going to gap those down and then uh, put it back together and make another rig.
So we went to check the boost solenoid, we blew through it, and we found out that there's nothing actually going through it. Then we had a little camera malfunction while Brent was making a pull. And it made 220 with 213 torque. So you can see it pulled some power out here, but it gave it some more up top. So it's showing it's a little choked up. Yep, showing it's choked up a little bit. Okay, so I've got to fix this damper situation, the fuel pump, and the TPS. So I need to get on this now. I need to pull the throttle body, I need to pull the fuel pump, and then uh, the damper I'm going to have to figure out. But I'm on it, and uh, that's what I've got. So this is what we're going to do. Let's get to it. So this guy, when we pull this off, I bet you it's going to be covered in oil. It looks pretty oily down here. Yeah, down at the bottom. Down here. at the bottom, just where it's There's something through this back plate or something. Yeah. So we'll set this aside. Uh, All right, now I'm still figuring out what I want to do with the crank pulley. And uh, I got the pump about ready to go back on. So. Okay, a couple things. So we feel like it got a little bit of oil in those two holes. I went through the bottom end on this, but I didn't go through the head. So I may just pop the head off real quick, go through that. And then looking at the turbo oil drain, I also noticed, look at the size of that hole. The bolt holes are bigger going through that. And uh, I mean, if you compare the size of the hole in the hose, like it's ridiculously different. So I may have been backed up a little bit as well. So I'm not too stoked on this fitting, but it was on there. It might have been used for fabrication. I'm not sure, but it was there. We tightened it. We never pulled it off. My bad. Um, the head, I guess I had time and I probably should have gone through the head, but the last time it ran, I don't remember it having any problems. So I just kind of, you know, the motor has just sat. Um, Shane and I re-ringed it and we thought that was, that was going to be sufficient. But looks like I probably need to run through it real quick. And I want this thing right. I want it perfect. I want it sweet. I want to go out and I want to run fast. Back onto this oil drain. Uh, Jamie had one in his box. You can see by the hold size, there is quite a difference from what was on it and what we need. So we're going to go ahead and put this one on there. I mean, just look at the front hole even. I mean, just because they're both dash 10 does not mean they're the same. So this just bit us a little bit. I got a feeling it's this, but we gonna need to put it all back together to try it out. So yep. we're gonna go ahead and put this on the turbo and uh, see if it fixes our problem. All right, now that I've got the gasket scraped off, look at the size of that hole. Look at the size of this. I don't know if it even covers it all the way. It doesn't. I mean, barely. I mean, yeah just so barely that i don't think that's and then you can just tell you put this over and you can see the oh, shape yeah. that's it's designed for this yeah much better so so we got going now sweet yeah lily came through clutch on that <laughs> good eye Brent, what you got going on, buddy? Uh, we're gonna try to 
test this old lathe out. So you got, what do you got here? You got your hub. You got this all tore apart from his damper. So he's gonna chuck this thing up. We're just gonna bevel this edge. Just this one right here, because that's what's hitting that timing <sighs> cover. Yeah. All right, I got Jamie and Shane set up over there on the lathe, so they're working on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pump remounted and uh, see if I can't get somewhere. Cool. All right, so that's nice and hot. Oh, we got to almost. press that thing on. All right, let's try to turn it. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. It went on beautiful. Hey. It worked. All right. We officially did something with our lathe, dude. We did something with our lathe. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I like Got to it. use the lathe. Uh, make our our dampener fixed. We got our damper fixed. Damper, da damp dampener, 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 damper, 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 Worst snow, goof. Good job. So we won tonight. We've got all of that together. I'm gonna do the throttle body tomorrow. Got the turbo back together, got that all solved. I gotta find some methanol uh, or some just good fuel in general to put in there. <laughs> I didn't realize we had some pump gas that we pulled out of was, something else. He thought it was the C85. Yeah, I thought it was some C85, there. but it was just some pump gas. We were trying to start it on the other night. 2200 is that probably added to the extent of how hard it was to start. but. But we got a bunch done and uh, fixed up. So, show enough, we should uh, be back into trying to make a run. Um, we still need to notch this little hole for this number four plug wire. Some little things, but made some this good way, progress again. We can fire it up this way. You know, get the TPS on it, make sure it fires up nice. Then yeah. we can dremel that out. Yep, but we got the damper fixed. We know our lathe works. I mean, I'm, I'm stoked, I'm pumped. Um, I got the pump going the right way, so we won't have to use a drill and, you know, what we were doing the other night. Just started running through things, so we'll try to start it again. Um, hopefully that fixed the turbo as well. That drain was terrible. I can't even believe how bad it was, but it's fixed now, so. And uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. We're beat. So give us a like, subscribe. We'll see you guys all tomorrow or later today. All right, guys. Bye.